Hi. What's up, y'all? Okay, so we're going to be talking about rewinding and reversing to get go forward with men. To go forward with men. You got to rewind and reverse it. Hey, y'all. Okay. So what do I mean by rewinding it and reversing it? What you talk about, Sheila? Exactly what I said. Rewind and reverse it. If you want to get further with men, rewind and reverse. Which means they've taken you out on dates. They think they're getting somewhere. And they start to get a little attitude. Rewind. You got to start all over. You know, oh, you're not doing this and you're not doing that. And we've been out so many times. Rewind. Start over. Um, <laughs> you have this power to control all of that. Because all you have to do is get mad. Pretend mad. All you got to do is get pretend mad and offended to now where he has to start all over to win you back. Um to where you once were, you know. It's kind of like when when a man is trying to rush something and he gets upset and then you totally cut him off and shut down in order to get you back into, um, you know, the position that he basically paid for, um, he has to start all over. So let's say he spent about $2,000 and that's just not enough for you to do anything. He's getting frustrated and mad. He's, you know, calling you and telling you, well, you got to do A, B, C, and D. And you got to try to get the, and you totally shut down because you're still winning because you got the money. You, you didn't got 2000 spent on you. You shut down and you said, well, I didn't know that you were in a rush. You know, I, I thought we were getting to know each other. I'm not that type of person. I don't know why you think I am. Um, you know, blah, blah, blah. blah. So now they feel stupid. They spent 2,000 bucks on you. They're not going to let that go down the trash. So what do they got to do? Start all over. So a lot of people ask me, well, how do you get a sugar daddy to give you money without giving it up, this rewinding it? Get mad and having them rewind and start over every time. They're going to start over a couple of times because they you're teaching them how to control themselves. You know, plus you're getting more money out of it. Now, um, the the reverse, the reverse is the reverse psychology aspect of it. Okay, when a man comes at you talking about, oh, I was used, and I don't do, you know, everybody wants to be a gold digger and use me, and I don't do that. It's like, oh, well, I didn't even think that you had enough money to be a sugar daddy. Oh, well, I wouldn't think you were a sugar daddy. I mean, those are millionaires, right? Or, you know, they're rich, right? And I, <laughs> he's going to get offended because he obviously thinks he has money and you didn't even see him as a sugar daddy type. You didn't even try to get no money out of him. You don't even think he got nothing. So now he's sitting up there looking broke and old. So what's he going to do now? Show off that money, spend that money. Okay, you gotta you gotta reverse it and rewind it. Whatever they giving out, rewind it. Whatever they trying to do, reverse it. Okay, so that's how they're all gonna start out. Well, every girl that I've dated, you know, they just wanted some type of money from me. I hope you're not one of those gold diggers. Oh my gosh, I would never think you were a sugar daddy. Aren't sugar daddies supposed to be rich? You know, I mean, you're probably on a fixed income. Like, how old? Like, because you know they're going to be old. You, you need to save up for your retirement. Remind them how old they are. They're going to be like, 
oh no, you know, I mean, I have it. I have it. I could, I could spoil you if I wanted to, but I just don't want you to expect that. It's like, oh, well, I never thought you were, I never thought of you like that before, but you know, that's kind of strange to me. Um, now you're going to be trying to prove it. Ordering expensive wine, telling you to get what you ever you want, asking if you need something. Do you need anything? Uh, just let me know. Okay. <laughs> so, are y'all still here? Type emoji babies. Type emojis. Thank you. Okay. So, now that you understand how to reverse it and, you know, rewind it, stop feeling like the victim and take control of the situation. Okay. A man can say whatever he needs to say, but you can always reverse it. You know, like if he's all extra sexual, it's like, oh my gosh, you know, um, if he's like extra sexual and all that kind of stuff, you're like, well, um, that's nice and everything, but you know, you know, you talk a good talk, but are you prepared? You know, he might be talking extra because he can't, you know, because he got a Viagra in his pocket. He might, that, that little blue pill might be his confidence. <laughs> you know, that's the, most of the reason why these older guys try to rush into sex is because they got a Viagra. And they got to, you know what I'm saying? They want to test it out. <laughs> so you just, you just reverse that. He's like, oh, okay. Well, you know, um, do you need to go to the rest? Do you need to take any medications or anything before? <laughs> uh, so anyway. Viagra don't help. I don't feel nothing. <laughs> Poor thing. <laughs> or you can be like, oh my gosh, you, uh, you, you're still very potent, aren't you? Like, you're still very potent, aren't you? Wow. Then scare them a little bit, talking about, do you want kids? That'll scare an old man right back into the strip. Of, uh, never mind. That'll scare them away. That'll, that'll make it calm down. Ask them about some kids. And they, because that's what sex equals to children. If he's if he's eager to, to sleep with you, he must want some kids. He must want some kids. Reverse that right up. Oh, I can't wait. You know, you look, you know, come to my hotel room and you know, we're gonna do ABCD. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, okay. Well. To ruin the whole thing after you didn't got your money? Do you want kids? I'm ovulating. Oh no, I don't want any kids. Oh no, are you sure? Because I'm ovulating right now. It's just not a good time. What if the condom breaks? I'm not on birth control. You, you gonna be a daddy? I'm very fertile because I'm young. Um, and I just think it would be a huge risk, and I don't believe in abortion. <laughs> Reverse that stuff right on up. Okay, so what do you tell someone who, when you need some money, and they don't come through? Okay, I know y'all are sick and tired of these talkers and promisers. promisers who don't come through when they said they would, okay? So when you ask for something, they say they're gonna come through. Don't tell them you need it tomorrow. Don't tell them you need it next week. Tell them you need it today. I need it today. Don't put no hold on it. I need it today. 
Act like it is urgent and that you would do anything after you get what you need. Anything. You're my hero. You're saving the day. Oh my God, I owe you. Get it today. Why are you waiting a week? Why are you waiting until the 12th or whenever? Whatever you need, give it, get it today. And make it seem like you're so desperate and grateful that you're just going to unleash your gratitude upon him. You saved me. Oh my gosh, you're my savior. And then get sick. And then emergency pops up. And then your fake funeral shall pop up. Okay. J Money, I am barefoot. You want to hear my, my toe, my feet? J Money, my feet. I'm wiggling them right now. Um. <laughs> so now you gotta um, you gotta get that money today. He he needs to think he's getting something tonight or afterwards. Okay. Then reverse it. Ah. <sighs> You got freestyling and rub some Jezebel oil on my hand. I met the 64-year-old after a few drinks. I was tickling his nose with the fur on my glove. He dropped $250 on you, girl. But tickling his nose, girl. I mean, that that's not bad. Anyway. Got to do what you got to do. Okay, so another way to reverse a situation. Okay, now I know y'all keep asking me, what if I already slept with him? How do I reverse it? Make him think he did a bad job. There ain't nothing worse you can do than tell me he was no good. Some of y'all don't have the guts to do this. So let's say you got you have somebody and he was giving you money and yeah, he didn't hit it and quit it. All you gotta do is go ahead and text him and say, you know what? I really didn't want to tell you this, but um, you know, it was okay, but I think it could be better. I mean, it, it really could have been a little bit better. Um, you know, maybe you need to maybe you need to um Drink more water. Maybe you need, you know, start naming some health stuff that he can do. Take some vitamin, get you some B12. Go just start going off. It's like I would really, I would really like to see you again because uh, you know you're a very nice person. I don't want to just dismiss you because of that, girl. When you tell a man that he got to overcompensate with his money, he got to show you his money because he got to remind, he got to take your mind off of that. And put it on what his real value is, his money. You know, have you ever thought about um, cause I don't think you were all the way as excited as you could have been. I mean, do you do you have blood pressure? Do you are you on blood pressure medication? Uh, my friend's a nurse, she can get you some Viagra. Girl, just go off. He gonna be like, oh no, no, no! I was just tired. I had too many drinks. Oh, you want to meet for lunch? Or you know, you, do you need anything? Do you need anything? He gonna try to take your mind off of that, put it back on his wallet where it should have been in the first place. Then he's gonna be scared the next time. So it's gonna take longer for him to get to that point with you because he's embarrassed. So he's going to have that anxiety, that performance anxiety. So he just got to keep giving you money. So if you have the guts, 
to risk it all, to get it all. Go ahead and tell him you wouldn't all of that, but do it in a nice way. Like you want to see him again, but you need to be honest with him. And you need you to, you know what? I really enjoyed our, uh, you know, our intimacy, intimacy together. But, you know, I, I kind of think you weren't giving it your, I, I don't think you were at your full peak. And I think it could be better next time. Get them all excited again. And you're like, you know, um, but that's okay. That's okay. Girl, every time you reverse the script, you win. And I have, I'm going to do a video on my spiritual channel about a lot of things that um, are being reversed right now in the public eye in order to accomplish something. But this is how you do it. Okay, you call him and tell him he didn't do his job right. And then now he thinks that you're not really concerned about his wallet, but him. So he's more likely to give now that he doesn't think that's your main goal. But see, mm -hmm. reverse the script, yes. Um, Ashira, I want to give you a pedicure. You want to give me a pedicure? You can put some pedicure money in there. Maybe I see, maybe I add you to my Snapchat and Snapchat my pedicure for you. Next time I go, I need to go tomorrow. And we can, we can make an arrangement. You just follow me on uh, Snapchat. Put the pedicure money in there. I'll Snapchat you. Love from London. Thank you all for what you do. Thank you, girl. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Thank you, Summer. <laughs> I don't know how to act with him on this date. Any advice? I'm going looking natural with short locks. Girl, I don't know how to act. I mean, you don't act natural on a date, baby. You act feminine. <laughs> Act natural. Don't go together. You ain't got to act if it's natural. You need to act feminine. There you go. Yes, I answer you, girl. Okay, sure. Guy who liked a lot of me is pull who liked me a lot is pulling away. How do I get his attention again without being a pick? Ask him if he's going through financial issues. Always got to mess with the ego. You know, I noticed that we haven't been going out as much. Is everything okay financially? You good? You still working? Oh, you got, you still have your job? Oh, okay. Well, that's good. I, I'm, I'm happy. You know, I was worried for a second because, you know. But, you know, I understand you want to cut back. We, you know, holidays are coming up. Got to start saving. That reverse, baby. Reverse psychology will get you into the door, into the wallet. Mm -hmm. Automatically assume it's the money. And what will what will what do you do when someone automatically assumes something that is so untrue? Think about it. You defend it and try to prove it wrong by doing what the exact opposite. So that's what you gotta do. Is it mandatory to sleep with a sugar daddy potential sugar? Nope. It ain't mandatory to do nothing. But get that money. <laughs> Thank you, Odette Young. Sprinkle, sprinkle. How is a how is another person gonna tell you something is mandatory? It is not written in stone. That is not the law. You ain't sign no contracts. May the best player win, darling. <laughs> um. May the, bless, may the best player win. 
We playing you with that line. What you gonna do? You know what my response would be? You're right. You know what? I want it to be perfect. Girl, playing your night out. Would you mind making a girl's fantasy come true? Get them all sucked in. But first, I would love to start the day, you know, with you sending me to the spa so I can get waxed and pedicured for you for that evening. Get you a free spa trip out of it. Then I would love to go and pick out some sexy lingerie at the mall or something with you and have you pick it out. And then I'll surprise you with it later. Get you some free Victoria's Secrets or Frederick's or Hollywood or La Perla or wherever y'all going from. Whatever. Oh, but then we have to go to dinner. And I've always wanted to wear a trench coat with nothing, with the lingerie under it. And just have you thinking about what's under here all night. Get you a Burberry trench coat, have them buy you a new trench coat, expensive one. Mm -hmm. So get him all riled up, get him all riled up. If you don't want to ever see him again, if you're done with him, I mean, you can dismiss him like right after you say something crazy, which will turn him totally off. Or you can have that fake phone call, that emergency phone call. Oh my God, you're locked down. I have to go, I have to go give my mom the keys. She's locked out of the house. I'm the only one that has her key, her spare key. And she lives 45 minutes away. And she is standing outside right now. And she doesn't live in a very good neighborhood. So I gotta go. Okay. Then he gotta start all over. Yeah. Um, but you gotta play the game. Like you gotta get this close and then reverse, rewind, rewind. Okay, you gotta get this close and then rewind. So we start all over. Some of y'all are afraid to even admit that you even might do something with someone. Like y'all are too scary. Y'all too scary. Y'all gotta y'all gotta act, y'all gotta play the part. Y'all gotta get all the way right there to the dinner. Right before the hotel. Then you rewind. Y'all, y'all, y'all cringe when they even mention, you know. The S word. Okay, that means money. You know, the dollar sign is a S. Okay, so you know that it's very powerful and you can pull money as long as he thinks that he's getting the prize at the end of the night. Okay. Don't be like, well, I'm not that kind of girl. Where I, I'm not, I'm, I just met you. Girl, think, make him think he's going to have a night of his life. And then rewind. Then your excuse could be like, we were moving too fast anyway. I think we should slow down because I really like you. And, you know, if we would have done, then you then you put the, the reverse, reverse psychology on. And I think if we would have, you know, slept together that soon, that you know, this relationship wouldn't, or, you know, this, this relationship wouldn't last very long. So I'm so glad that we didn't move too fast. And now we can get to know each other, you know, take it slow, you know. Then you got to start all over. Okay, so use what you know to get what you want. Don't be afraid to go ahead and play the role and then rewind it. Right? Remember, at any time, you can change your mind. That's the beauty of it. Men already know and feel like women don't know what they want anyway. It won't be a surprise. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh. I'm going to dinner tonight, but he's expecting sex. Do this, do what I told you. 
Okay. If that hotel, if that hotel has a gift shop, hit that gift shop first, girl. Hit that gift shop. I don't even care. Get a bunch of stuff. I don't care. Hit the gift shop. Make them think you finna get you finna get everything. Hit that gift shop. Then get that emergency phone call and be out. My mom's locked out. She lives 45 minutes away. I gotta go give her the key. Okay. Girl, I get get like a little, like act like you you ready, girl. Like, I can't wait to get up there. We're gonna order room service. Like, paint the scene. Then phone call come in. Be mad when the phone call comes in. Like, Mom, you can't get that. Or, you know, Mom, he ain't answering his phone. He probably with his new girlfriend. <sighs> well, you can't call their clothes. <sighs> you don't try. You, okay, just, just stay in the backyard and try to be quiet, and I'm going to be there. Okay? I know. They shooting. I told you, you need to move out of that neighborhood. I mean, it's not what it used to be. Okay, I'm coming. I'm on my way. Bam. He ain't going to. Your mama is in the line of fire. You have to go. <laughs> okay. He ain't going to tell you to stay. He ain't going to be mad. You got to go save your mama. Into who? <laughs> I mean, if you're going to play the role, get into it. Yes, have your friend call. Say, okay, look, you're going to call me at this time. You got to pay your friend to call, but you know they're going to forget if you don't pay. I'm going to cash app you after your phone call. Let it talk. <laughs> And, and make sure your friend's phone number says mom. Like change their name to mom temporarily. Okay. <laughs> oh. So reverse it, rewind it. Okay, another thing. Let's talk about money. Money, 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 money. Oh, he's been giving me money, but now he's giving me less and he's pulling away and he's giving me less money and I need more. I need more money. He's not giving me the type of money I need. You know, it's like, oh my gosh, were you, were you showing off when you gave me the first, when you gave me the first money? Like, like, was that your savings? I mean, I really didn't want to take something that you could not afford to give me. I feel so bad. Oh my gosh. Did you go into your retirement for that? Did you go into your savings? Because I noticed that you're not giving me a, the same amount. So, you know, I know maybe you were just trying to impress me in the beginning. And I, I don't want you to go broke, you know, trying to help me. If you really can't afford, you know, what I need, just tell me. Thank you, uh, love is money. Sprinkle, sprinkle, girl. He's going to be like, no, I have plenty, you know, uh, I was just, you know, I couldn't get it out all out the ATM at, at that time. So, and I didn't go back, but, you know, yeah, I'll have it for you next time. So you got to play on their ego, but you got to be nice about it. Like you're concerned, you know, and then if they try to, if they try to play you by saying, yeah, you know, I really can't afford it. And da, 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 it's like, oh, okay. Well, you know. If you, if you, well, you know, I'm going to pray for you and your financial issues. I'm going to, you know, when I, when I say my prayers, you know, I'm going to put you in there. <laughs> now you feel sorry for him. You've just emasculated him. Now he's, the, now he's charity. Okay. Reverse that stuff right on up. And he already know that if you if you got to pray for his finances, you ain't going to be calling him no time soon. He on the prayer list. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you, 
You know what I mean? Okay. He done made the prayer list. <laughs> okay. So, even if you don't pray, just say that anyway. Just It's going to make it sound like charity case. Okay. <laughs> How many of y'all are actually getting monthly allowances without getting sex? Is this simple? It seems impossible. Sprinkle, sprinkle. You got to have the right target. You got to lead them all and reverse it. Think about something. When you get this close to something and they snatch it back, are you going to give up? If you go on a date and you are and the, the, the woman is 99% sure you're getting it tonight and some her mama call talking about I need her key I need my key and it gets snatched back but you almost had it you gonna give up no because you almost had it this is how you drag it out you make them think they're about to get it and then you snatch it back you rewind it and reverse it then they got to start over. You buy time by starting over. Then to buy more time, like I said earlier, I'm so glad we didn't do it that night. You know, I really like you. I want to get to know you. I think it would have ruined the whole situation. And I really like you so much. You know, you're not like the others. I just want, you know, you're, you're not like anybody I've ever met. And I don't want to risk losing you. Make it feel special at the same time. Now he's going to be all proud that y'all didn't do something. See, reverse psychology. Well, let's just wait till you're ready. Let's wait till you're comfortable. What do, you, do you need anything? Um, so you got you got to play that reverse psychology. Whatever they're thinking, do the opposite. Think the opposite. Say the opposite. Whatever they're trying to scam you with, scam them with the opposite. You got to come back, you know. <laughs> Your mom did that to my dad, it works. <laughs> and I know it worked, Faya. This lady doesn't love her husband. I love him enough to think of, sit down and think of stuff to get what I need, to get him to be the man that I need. That is love. I don't know what you're talking about. Jenny Tripp, to you. how the hell do you know, right? You don't know what I do. You don't know how I live. You know what love me? I keep telling people what love me, but they don't understand. Perhaps you don't know what the word love means. Love does not mean giving your all to someone. It, that's not what it means. Love does not mean giving your all to someone. They don't. Mm -hmm. And love does not mean that you are 100% honest with this person either. That is not what it means. What is love? According to the Bible, love is kindness. I'm nice. Love is patient. You're going to wait. Love is understanding. You're going to understand a lot about me before you get to touch me. Ah, love is loyalty. Loyalty to who? They never say it. Loyalty to self. Loyalty to that other person. Yep. I'll be loyal to you as long as you loyal to me and you got that money coming. So, you know, what's your definition? Mm -hmm. Love is forgiving. I forgive you because, you know, let them do the dirty work. I still get the money. You know, like, we all make mistakes. You forgive me, I'll forgive you. Mm -hmm. Trust. I trust you as far as I can see. They didn't say how far. 
Mm-hmm. That's as far as my trust go. I can't see you no more. I don't trust you that far. <laughs> Carrie? Mm-hmm. I care. <laughs> so, um, love is being taken care of, right? Like you, those are very broad, you know, definitions of love, or you can tweak them how you choose. Um, <laughs> you bad with makeup, girl? Get on YouTube and get on the makeup channels and watch them until you ain't bad at makeup no more. You need to get the proper brushes. You can buy my level up kit on my Poshmark store. It is the first link below. It comes with the eyeshadow palette, eyebrow, I mean, eyeshadow palette, um, brushes. It comes with bronzer or highlighter. It comes with uh, lashes and all that kind of stuff. Yes, it's six items. And you get the whole kit. And you need to go ahead and get that and get on the YouTube videos and start your practicing. It takes practice to get decent at makeup, okay? Practice, practice, practice. Shameless plug. Um, <laughs> your boyfriend wants to move in with you for a month because he was evicted. Ooh, dusty problems. He said he would give be giving me $500, but I'm scared he's not going to leave. Girl, the answer is not no, but a heck. As Sasha says, heck no. It is the dusty season. You don't know what dusty season is? So when it starts getting cold, that's the dusty season. You didn't know that? Tis the season to be dusty. La, 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 la. Why is he being homeless? La 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 la. He cannot do a thing for you. La 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 la. No. The answer is no. Tell him to take that five hundred dollars and go get him an extended stay, baby. Extended stay. Extended stay. Cause that's what he gonna make your place. An extended stay. Now, he's going to only give you $500 one time. Don't do it. It ain't worth it. Hey, Chi Chi. Hi, Mommy. Do you like my Cheeto Curl nails? Ooh, them some ratchet nails. Yes, I... How did you glue them on? Uh, glue. It's lip gloss. Lip gloss? With the squeeze out kind. You won't let me get acrylics. No, I won't. But that's nice. That's... <laughs> Too young for that. Too young. She may have some nails. <laughs> you can get you can get the little press on. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, my nails are falling off. You can get the little press on that pop off. <laughs> but my shadow kind of looked like it, like. It's cute though. <laughs> So, y'all laughing at her little nail. Oh, I bought you some nail polish, Sasha. If you file your real nails, okay, mommy. Them. I'm just gonna put them on. Okay, wait, where's the file? Here, wait. I okay, I can finally paint my nails. Okay, go, go. Go paint them on the island and do not spill that. Do you like my acrylics? I'm going to paint them on my acrylics. No, not the paper. Mm, my real nail? Yeah, and only do like one coat on each finger. Okay, let me file and my then nails real quick. <laughs> do one coat on each finger. And then go back and do a second coat and then let it dry. Okay? Start with your pinky first. Okay. Why always make pinky? Because if you if you start with your thumb, you're gonna go over and mess up the other nail. You start your pinky, you can't mess nothing up on the way. Okay. Bye. Why can't I start on my other fingers? Because you wanna mess them up. Look, let me show you. You start on your thumb. Okay, I'm painting my thumb. 
Then you're going to paint this one. Which I was going to start on my thumb. I'm going to start on my pointer finger. Okay, learn the hard way. Bye. I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's hard to on you at first. Thank you. You donated Metal Bell. Thank you, girl. Let me scroll back up. Mother. Sasha was like needing a, a lesson in nail. You sound like that girl from Amber going like. Who? On one episode, we can find. No, no ant farm. Ant farm. But China Animal Queen. Oh. Is that a show? I will be loyal as long as that money flows in. All right, Metal Bill? I promise you. <laughs> Thank you, girls. Sprinkle, sprinkle. I think it's called the ant farm. Oh. <laughs> You're in love with my shirt. <laughs> Thank you. I did, I did a haul yesterday on a, my Ashura Star channel, which is my beauty and haul channel. Hey. And... You can go see where I got this, or you can go check out that whole haul. I got some more shirts too. So. Stuff is the description link in that uh, video that I did yesterday. Bye, Sosh. Hey, oh, Get that file. file. Yeah. Sasha, really huh? why are you turning out the light? You know I need that light. <sighs> Close the door. <laughs> you turn off the lights on. Um. <laughs> Do you know anything about Mason men? How old are they? What degree are they? If they in the lower degrees, they don't know nothing either. Um, they in the upper echelons? Or they just went and joined the fraternity and that's it? You said local Masons are hoes. <laughs> <sighs> Winter is dusty season. Do not let that dude move in, okay? I, sure, I told him no already, and his aide is going to say I hate you, but whatever. Girl, if he only needs you for shelter and he says he hates you, why are you entertaining him? He obviously is in need and does not like you, just needs shelter, okay? Girl, let him learn his life lessons and be a man. Get, let him get evicted. Go back home to mama. Be shamed and pull himself back up. You are not his mama. If you let him stay, you are only making him worse. Do you understand me? Don't rescue that fool. Okay? Let him pick himself up. How else he gonna learn? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Okay. If you save him, then who's going to save you? How to deal with a boring guy. I, you know, when I'm, when I'm bored, I multitask. I put together outfits in my mind. I make mental lists of what I'm going to do. Um, girl, I'll be thinking about what they're talking about. Okay, so, yeah, you need to rewind that fool right about your life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do not let him move in. Do not, I repeat, do not let him move in. The dust is real all over, girl. Tell, you, need, you, know, you know what you need to do? Just to make sure you don't allow yourself to become weak and let him move in. You need to tell him, I can't, I cannot respect you if you move in here with me. You, you know. You. I can't respect a man who can't do for himself. I'm so sorry. It won't be the same. <laughs> right. Our finger waves ratchet. Ooh, child. Where, where you live at? <laughs> where you live at, girl? 
<laughs> Y'all making me laugh. Y'all know what it is. What advice do you give to a 25-year-old who doesn't want to be with older men? Um, have fun at work, baby. <laughs> Have fun at work, girl. Because ain't no 25-year-old man or no 26-year-old man or no 27-year-old man or not even a 35-year-old man is going to pay them bills. So good luck at work. Have fun. Hope you get your raise. Focus on your career. Avon. Um, red... <laughs> Where are the older men at? In bed by now, girl. It's late. Old people don't stay out late. Y'all, y'all go out when they going to sleep. Y'all gotta get out in the daytime. <laughs> y'all, y'all in the mirror putting on y'all makeup when they sleep. Been dreaming for three hours. They already in the bed when y'all step out. Go out for lunch. Happy hour breakfast, go shopping during the day, go to the rich area of town, go to rich shops, um, expensive watch shops, go to, um, you know, conferences like for surgeons and stuff, just be lingering around the hotel as if you were in another conference, go to charity events, um, you know, stuff like that. Go, go do stuff that old people do, old rich people do. Thank you, Elizabeth. I listened to your advice and my boyfriend getting a good job. So he paying all bills and giving you money. I demasculated myself and been more feminine and it works. Love you. Oh, girl, sprinkle, sprinkle, girl. Good for you. I'm so proud. Go ahead, girl. Thank you. What age do you date when you're 22? Whatever age is paying all your bills, baby. Y'all know I'm going to always tell you the same thing. It just depends on what you want. Do you want someone to pay all your bills? Or, or what? You know, what are your goals? Top tip on how to be more rational. Stop being triggered. Have a goal already written down, and until you meet it, you don't budge from your your path. You know, look, my goal is to get this much money, to get my bills paid, to do A, B, C, and D, and then we could we could see what happens. If you don't get to that goal, you can't see what happens. Focus on the goal. Okay, focus on the goal. Write it down. If you, until you can check that off, you can't stray from the back. That's it. That's how you you don't get mad. Men are gonna say stupid stuff. Men are gonna offend you. How can you use that to your favor? Is what you need to be asking yourself. How can I use this man trying to rush me into sex to my advantage hmm. and not do it? Hmm, let me get my notebook out and come up with some diabolical ideas. Well, you're going to write a few down. Then you're going to back, go back and look up. That ain't going to work. Now, this one might work. This one might work. I'm going to put a maybe by that one. Eliminate all the things that won't work for sure. And put the maybes by some and then maybe combine the maybes, two of the maybes together and it might work. Okay, so you gotta you gotta you gotta plan out. And that way when you're approached with a situation, you already know what to do. You ain't even offended because you got a solution already in place. Oh, okay, you wanna rush? Okay, let's go shopping. Uh get me the spa so I can get waxed. Oh yes, let's go pick out some lingerie. Oh, we gotta take you to a nice dinner first. Then your mama gonna call locked out the house 45 minutes away. And guess what? Rewind. Gotta go. So use everything to your advantage. And once you do that, you'll never make a bad 
you know, you'll never act illogically again. If you can see how everything will work in your favor, make everything work in your favor, reverse it. Okay. <laughs> Well, he's looking at other girls and he's not answering his call. Okay. Great. You know, those go those other girls probably, you know, are out of his league. And all he can do is look. Well, he's liking pictures on Instagram. Okay, well, maybe that's all he can do. He can't date her. He ain't got enough money. You think he could be sitting here with you if he could date that chick on Instagram? You know what I'm saying? Don't get mad over stupid stuff. You know what I'm saying? Don't get mad over dumb stuff. Men gonna look all day long, every day. Which, what's his wallet looking like? What's your account looking like? Are you getting, are you getting the money? Okay, so don't be getting offended over stupid stuff. Thank you, Guinevere. I'm paying times. Oh, sprinkle, sprinkle, girl. Thank you. Um, do I have any daddy issues? What's the best part about being with older men? <laughs> I have, you know what I have? I have broke issues. I don't like being broke. You know what I'm saying? Because I need some money. And older men got money. Young men ain't got no money. So I got broke issues. I got issues with men being broke. And most young men is broke. Okay. I ain't worried about nobody, daddy. I'm worried about the, you know, their financial stability. <laughs> For real, like, were you ever broke? I was never really broke because I was was cute and I could get whatever I wanted. But um, financially, yes. <laughs> but I was only twenty two or twenty, you know, in my twenties, my early twenties. Everybody broke then. I didn't stay broke. I didn't stay broke. And I, Shoot, I was broke for two weeks. <laughs> as long as I ever been broke for two weeks. Um, I really wasn't broke though. Cause I was. Do I have children? Yes. Didn't you just see Sasha coming here, my daughter? You make like 400 a night after a <laughs> Sprinkle, sprinkle, yes. They be sprinkling me, girl. I'm, I might make more than a stripper over here. I ain't even taking off no clothes. Um, but I appreciate it, though. Thank you, everybody who donates. How do you respond to a man with money that wants you to go to his house on the first date? Do you block and delete? No. Get his address, baby. Oh my God, what's your address? Google map that thing. See what it look like. Go ahead and pull it up on Google Maps. Y'all know I have to sound like an old, old wise lady, so you know how to say Google Maps. Go ahead and pull it up, see what it look like. If it's ugly, I'm like, mm, nope. If it's a mansion, go bring your friend. <laughs> like oh my gosh my friend's in the car I have to drop her off I just you know I stopped by maybe we can have a drink and you know um, this is a really nice house but I gotta go then go out with your friend and freestyle you been by you know where he lives you see what he got you weren't all like throwing yourself on him because he got a mansion you still did what you had to do which means you gotta do more than this. You gotta take me out. This ain't gonna, this ain't gonna get it, baby. Nice house, but this ain't gonna get it. Um, <laughs> go ahead and put your friend in the passenger seat and roll on out there and go on and get get your little money when you go in. I'm almost out of gas. Your house is far. <laughs> Um, is there an ATM around here? Where's the nearest gas station? Oh, I need to get some money out of the bank, but I hate getting money out of the ATM at night. It's so unsafe.
<laughs> Into who? Make everything work for you. That house look like your next door neighbor house don't even get up unless you know you live in a nice neighborhood. Um this guy wants to hang out and take me to dinner and drinks have not offered into tink. Well, usually men don't start by offering you anything. They want to show you off first and see if you're worth offering you anything. You know, do you turn heads? Do you make him look richer? Do men envy him for being seen out in public with you, darling? You need to go represent and get your money if you want to take you out again. Okay? If you don't do it for him, he ain't finna offer you nothing. You got to turn heads, baby. You got to look cute. You got to make people think he's some type of millionaire or billionaire. Thank you, V. Um, Anur. I find it funny that Dusty's with no morals suddenly are concerned about morals when women use their femininity and intelligence to secure the bag. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Of course, because they can't use it against us. Now that we can use it, they think it's wrong. What's that old saying? It ain't funny when the rabbit got the gun? It ain't no fun when the rabbit got the gun. <laughs> um, what, does, what do I mean by he wants to show you off? Okay, a man don't ask a woman out to not show her off. When, when he steps out in public with you, he wants to look like he's somebody because he got you on his side, baby. A woman accents the man. A woman compliments the man. A woman shows how much man a man a, how much money a man has by the type of woman he can pull. Okay. Oh, he got money. Look at her. You know what I'm saying? It's like a car inside. You you his car when he can't show his car. Okay. He might he might drive a nice fancy car. People can see that on the street. They can't see that inside. Can't see that in the restaurant. They can't see that out and about. That's what you that's where you come in. Okay. <laughs> I want to be a sugar baby, but I also want to go into cybersecurity computer programming. Should I, girl, what the heck? Should I get a more feminine job? Just don't tell people what you do. Tell them you're a part-time receptionist. Keep it a secret. Okay. What advice would I give Sasha at 25? Sasha giving me advice. She... <clears throat> Girl, Sasha's so lazy. She's she gonna marry whatever, paying the bills. <laughs> she is like, I ain't gonna do all of that. Mm -mm. Um, <laughs> and FYI. Young women don't chase old men. Old men chase young women. FYI. Because you said you don't want to be 25 chasing old, you know what? No, that's not how it work out. <laughs> um, into who? What advice would you give Sasha 24? I don't want to be chasing older I don't want to be over there working broke either. I want to be good on my feet. I want to be morally correct and aligned with God. Girl, this is hilarious. Okay, I'm going to answer your question. I'm going I'm to answer your question. God said, think about this. In the Bible, do you think that a 25-year-old was married to another 25-year-old in the Bible days? I'm, I'm going to wait. 
You think there was underage marriage? And probably was underage marriage in the Bible. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How many wives did the people in the Bible have? More than one? Ooh, you're right. They were aligned with God. Okay. What what they, what they say in the Bible about oh, you can beat your wife? That's aligned with God too, baby. So do you want to be aligned with God? Or do you want to be aligned with what works for you? Because that don't sound like, I mean, the last time I checked, I, I'm the goddess of my life. You know, of course, there's a supreme uh, source, but I'm not going to like live under some rules uh, and, and fall for the okie doke. Thank you, Monica Smith, Sprinkle Sprinkle. Hey, she rock five five one hundred eight. Am I too skinny? Can I? Blah, 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 blah. Girl, that sounds good to me, girl. You got you got some curve in the right place. Get you a push up bra. You good? Um. So no, I ain't finna do all of that. I don't care. You know what? I'm finna I'm finna get my, all my bills paid. I'm finna secure my future, my children's future, and I'm finna live good. You know. Then collect that insurance policy. And as long as you get married, you, you follow the, the, the laws of God. Just get married. But you ain't going to have no premarital sex either. Okay. Well, good luck for you. Good luck to you. <laughs> y'all y'all, y'all be like such hypocrites. Come on in. If you going to go hard, go all the way. Thank you, Monica Smith. Sprinkle, sprinkle. You can't pick and choose what you're gonna do. You gonna, you gonna, you gonna be uh, her, her daddy. <laughs> you gonna be aligned with God today, tomorrow, and the next day, or just while you're looking for someone younger? Okay. That's why I'm not religious, because it's a joke. Um, <laughs> what if you get a boyfriend? Can you still date backups? <laughs> if you good, if you good at what you do. Thank you, Elizabeth. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Just because your advice, I swear, sprinkle, sprinkle. Hey. <laughs> okay. Thank you, girl. Um. You can do anything you want, right? Can you explain the pre-level up rule, please? Uh, it's just for when, like, you're starting from scratch and you need a little bit extra time and, you know, you, um, at your own pace, taking your time. Thank you, uh, Monica Smith. Sprinkle, sprinkle. But I'm very insecure about my weight, 108 pounds. Girl, you want my weight? You want to switch? I'll be 108 pounds. I'll be on the cover of Vogue. Papa, you want to switch? You, you want some of this? I, I mail it to you, girl. You want to switch? <laughs> you want to trade places? Skinny girls want to gain weight. You're out want to lose weight. And you trying to gain weight. You know what? <laughs> Just wear stuff that's tight. It'll, you'll look bigger. Wear fitted stuff. It'll make you look bigger. Okay. Wear brighter colors and fitted things. will make you look bigger. Wear um, what do you call it? Thicker materials, wear fluffy stuff. Like, you know, I should be wearing this. I'm telling you to wear, wear bigger stuff to make you look bigger. Okay. Um, what someone says, wear prints, like plaids or vertical stripes, no, horizontal stripes. There you go. Someone says they're 5'5 five, five and almost 200 pounds. Okay. Um, so the pre, 
so you're trying to get into level up, but she, she want to get into the pre-level up. Um, hadn't got back to you. A lot of people are trying to get into the group. So, um, Zianna Harrison. Okay. Um, go to my, let me see, go to my She Was 7 fan page on Facebook. Oh, shoot. Hold on, my battery's all off. And on the first post, let me see. My phone is, needs to charge. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She was seven fan club. Go here. Okay. And let's see what they posted. Okay, I posted a picture of my cat. Go under this and text me, like make a comment and say, hey, I need to be added to, you know, uh, this is, you know, such and such. I need to be added to. Da, 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 da. Okay. And that way I can do it. Hey, Sasha. Just hit me under the cat picture. Hey, oh, let me see. Yeah, I'm drawing it. I did the oh, second coat. That's so pretty. You need, that one is long. Look. Bend it so they can see the sparkles. Ooh, pretty. <laughs> All right, let it dry. Go sit down. I was going, I was spinning around. Oh, that's a good idea. Make it fun, huh? Close my door. Thanks. Mm -hmm. I am, uh, I think they might have come. I need to get on my Poshmark and put them on. You know what? I'm going to do that first thing. I'm going to do that tomorrow in the morning. So check back tomorrow afternoon and I'll have some up. Mm -hmm. Where's my other Blasian daughter? She has been wa binge watching Netflix, some show on Netflix called Greenhouse. Thank you, Monica Smith. She wrote, I thought men like curvy women like you throw out. Men like any type of woman. They don't discriminate. Um, and, and they like them on a certain degree. I mean, you know, uh, depending on the type of man you're trying to target, you know, um, depending on the type of man you're trying to target, some people like curves, some people like thin, you know, it just depends on what type of man you're targeting. If you targeting someone that likes curves, then, you know, um, I know how hard it is for people to gain weight because Sasha cannot gain weight. It's hard for her to gain weight. She eats. So, um, yeah, maybe you can buy some like padded bras and padded um, butts and stuff like that. <laughs> they sell that online, buy some pads. I don't know, but... Um, Wear thicker materials. Um, <laughs> so, how do you feel about T.I. saying he goes? to the gynecologist with his 18 year old daughter to get a checkup, would you let your husband take your daughter to the type of appointment? Maybe they have a deal. And, um, you know, he can take her in and just talk to the doctor outside. They might have a deal. Okay? You, know, you don't know what people do now. 
You stay a virgin, you get this much money a month. They might have a financial deal. Money talk, baby. <laughs> um, why? Because he don't want her like out there like that. He don't want her to ruin her reputation before she gets into a becomes an adult. You know. Uh, I I feel like it's a financial thing. Thank you, Monica Smith, Sprinkle Sprinkle. But do curvy women have more chance of skinny women? No, skinny women got it, girl. Use your skinniness, flaunt it. You can wear bikinis. You can wear anything looks good on you. All clothes look good on you. You could take a garbage bag and make it couture. Girl, go work your high fashion. Skinny women should work high fashion. Okay? Go work high fashion. Get you some high fashion looks. Take you some model shots. You can wear layers and still look skinny, girl. You is lucky. If I put on a coat, I look like a bear. I had a fur coat I had to give away because I look like a bear. Thank you, uh, Shion Lewis. Hey, I'm very intrigued by you. I told my brother about you, and he purchased face. Oh, thank you, girl. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Thank you for telling about me. Um, how should we take it? There are directions that come with it. It tells you exactly how to take it. So just follow the instruction. But for me, I do 10 drops in the morning and 10 drops in the, in the afternoon. Drop her. No, one dropper in the morning and one dropper in the evening. Um, but it tells you how to use it on there. Thank you, Diana Sprinkle Sprinkle. Oh, Dorian, how do I stay level up while I'm pregnant by my man means? Girl, wake up and make up every day. Get your hair did. Do your hair. Keep your nails done. Um, wear nice clothes. Same. I was cute the whole time I was pregnant. I went shopping at the, the little maternity stores. I was cute. I was better pregnant than I was. I was leveled up all through my pregnancy. Okay. What? I was one of the cute mothers. Um, um, my son is missing. Can I use dark energy to find him? Um, how old is your son? Oh, yeah, hold on. That's Jane. Hello. Good. They're just watching Netflix. Huh? Okay. Well, what what they say? Well, so uh, what's going on? Mm hmm. Okay, so um, what time do you want us to come over there? Okay. Okay. Oh, no, no. We let him out. <laughs> okay. Well, 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 let me know and I'll be there. Okay. All right. Bye. That's James. His mom is sick. Um, yeah, he's 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 visiting his relative in the hospital. Sick. Thank you, Monica Smith. Keep pressuring me to put on weight. Your family. I, now I see how Sasha feels. We keep calling her skinny and telling her to to uh, gain weight, but um. Girl, just eat pizza, girl. Just eat pizza every day. You're getting white quick. Carbs and cheese. Um, yeah, y'all, James's mom is like 90-something years old. So. Mm-hmm. His mom's still alive. Mm-hmm. But, you know, like, every time... 
someone that old gets sick, they have to take them to the hospital. So you never know if it's their last time. So he has to, he has to go. Um, sprinkle, sprinkle. Yeah. Well, she's, she's older. So, you know, it's expected. She's like 94, I think. Mm -hmm. No, she's 94. She got the longevity. Got that longevity. Mm -hmm. Does she like me? Does a 94 year old woman like me? Mm -hmm. She's nice. Um, he went missing at two. He's six. Oh my God, that is so sad. Um, I don't know what to tell you. I mean, like, I wish you could try. I mean, that's just, I couldn't imagine. Michelle Phillips, uh, how to keep him chasing you if he's only five years older, mid 30 girl? Girl, why are you wasting your time with that? Thank you, Michelle Phillips. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Compare him to older men. Do you do these tactics work on only on older men? Well, at 30, mid 30s, he thinks he's he thinks he's still in his 20s. He has options. Okay? You don't have to chase. But in comparing him to older men, he'll try to match what older men do. Like when y'all are out and about, or if you, you know, if, if you notice an older gentleman, oh my God, he, I love how he treats her. Oh my gosh, I love how, how he dresses, you know. Right? Um, I'm born and raised in Texas. Yes, I am. How you know? I've got the accent. Right. Good luck targeting rich black men. That's a long road to search. <laughs> um, if if you target the right type in the right place, who are also looking for someone like you, if you align yourself with someone who's actually looking for you, it's easier to find. You know, you can't just be random with this type of thing. You know, you have to align yourself with that type of man and this strategy thank you shocker sprinkle sprinkle what to say to men who ask for a date the same day where are we going baby she was like i went on a date the same day i met james where are we going he spent a lot of money he was so excited i said yes he took that wallet out and... um i mean i was single i didn't know kids i mean i was very young so Mm. I mean, they just can't wait to see you. They're like, oh my gosh, she's she's not going to call me back. Up. This could be my only chance. That's how you know they really like you. <laughs> um, men say I should settle down now before I hit the wall. When I am older, I'm only 19, but I'm using an aging product. Girl. You'll never have to hit the wall. Their wallets have hit the wall, that's why. They try to tell you to settle down because their wallet hit the wall. Um, it's true. I turned off my boyfriend. You turned off my man in their 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, 50s, it's the minimum. Me too, girl. I was 22 when I met James. How about 18 year old with a 38 year old? Not everyone's target, but it's my target. Okay. Eighteen year old or thirty eight year old? Let me think about that for a second. That's two years younger than me. Eighteen year old boy. Let me let me flip the script on here. I have an eighteen year old boy. Oh, you're just gonna be used for sex, baby. 
There's no value. You don't have any value except for sex. You're too young to flaunt in front of other people. You're too young. He's gonna, they're going to think you rob, he robbing a cradle. Ain't with underage girl. So you're too young to flaunt. You're too young to introduce the family. So you, you're just going to be used up. How do you deal with depression? I don't have depression. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Thank you, Dorian. I don't have depression. Uh, if I ever had it, I would do something very creative and start creating something. I would have a hobby. I would start a business. I would play in my makeup. I would uh, read, do research. I would do anything creative because most of the time people that are depressed are just not creating anything. They're just existing. Which is not fun. Create. Do some arts and crafts, girl. <laughs> um, girl, you need to get on my elixirs, baby. Get to, you need to get to my Etsy store. Get that phase one and that phase two. If you're depressed, your frequency is too low. Um. Does a criminal background check matter when meeting these dudes? Um, these days, as long as it's you know, if it's white collar, I don't think it matters. If, if it's if it's like you know, if it's white collar crime, I can overlook that. But I'm <laughs> anything else, uh, uh, I'm suspicious. Okay. Mm -hmm. Should I lie about my age and not say I'm 18 or just drop him and find someone younger? You pray little okay. When I was 18, I was dating a 33 year old. Okay. <clears throat> I like him older. I was, but I'm mature for my age. I'm smart. You know. I I shouldn't have dated. Uh, I shouldn't have dated him. But the age was not the issue. Mm -hmm. How come you weren't in school? Girl, I graduated. I graduated. Call me big fish. <laughs> um, I'd already graduated. Then I went to, um, I didn't say how long I dated him. Come on. I dated him for a good year. And during the middle of the relationship, I went to mortuary school. And I leveled up. Ooh, child, I leveled up all the way while in mortuary school. Okay. Started working at the funeral homes. Being around people with that money. That was it. That was over. It was over with, with that other dude. <laughs> it didn't last long after that. It was over. <laughs> okay. What advice do you have for virgins? It seems like sex is required before you actually get to know each other. Don't tell nobody you're a virgin and act like you're going to give it to them and never give it to them. Make them keep chasing it until they keep chasing it and never get it. Make them spend money, all of this and this and that. They will never, ever get it. And they will have spent money on you if they get frustrated and leave. Oh, well, you win. You have things to show. You have you know memories and fun things to show. If they spent all that money... They ain't gonna give up that soon. Okay, well, well, I need a ring before I give it up. Well, I need why don't we just go ahead and get married then? You know, you can keep dangling the carrot as long as you got game. Okay. They don't have to know you're a virgin. They don't have to know your weight until marriage. You can change your mind at the last minute. Anytime. 
giving out too much information is what is bad. Um, what if they touch you feel it with you on a first date? What should you do? Oh, oh my gosh, that feels so good. Oh, I need a massage. Oh my god, my back. I really, I really need to make, book a spa appointment. I'm so tensed. Oh, what? you want to go to the spa? There's a really nice spa in this hotel, you know, down the street. We should, we should go there next weekend. And, oh my God, are you serious? Okay, well, I would love to be like pampered and all that stuff. And da, da, da. you know, use, you use what you got, girl. Use what you got. Okay. Well, you're touchy feely. Oh. Um, oh my gosh, you know, a man by the name of Immortal Minds made a video called Stay Away From a Woman Who Says She's the Prize. I'm dying to hear your thoughts. He says women need to understand the hierarchy. Jay Jones, sprinkle, sprinkle. When, when he can squeeze a baby out of his little pee pee hole, we're going to talk about it. Feeling that. Thank you, Jay Jones. Bye. Right. I don't know. Mm -hmm. You know my life so well, LOL. <laughs> how can I get a private consultation with you and how does it go? Uh, write me through my Etsy store, Dark Realm. Dark Realm. And write me through there. Okay, so um, if you go to. Now, this is going to be a little bit controversial or sexist. If you go try to purchase a, a, a full breed dog or a full breed cat, if you purchase a female, the females cost more. Why do they cost more? Like, okay, because they breed. We're worth more naturally. So we are the prize. We can produce more. Old men tell me I look like a young Bridget Bardot. Do I need to bother with game? Older men are easy. That's why I'm like, just laugh and make them feel young and masculine. Hmm? What does it mean when a guy says he prefers older women? I mean, he prefer women that don't require his wallet. Enchanted star goddess, thank you. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Is it possible to level up and marry a man who will take care of me at 36? Of course it is. You still look good? You took care of yourself? Of course it is. Just make sure he's older than you, way older. Um, just like the lady said earlier, some men prefer older women because they're so old. If you're 65 or 70 and you're walking around with an 18-year-old, it's going to look crazy. But a 36-year-old woman don't look too crazy next to a 65-year-old. Okay? So think about it. Mm -hmm. Rewind and reverse. Reverse psychology and rewind the whole situation. After you get super close, snatch it all back. You know, he thought he was going to get some tonight, and oh, oops, all of a sudden, an emergency phone call comes in. He didn't spend all his money, prepared, snatch it all back. You know, um, never let anybody pressure you into doing something that you don't want to do. If they haven't spent enough money or time and energy on you, you can game them as far as you can game them. You can dangle the carrot as far as you want to dangle it and snatch it right back. It's your, it's it's your world. You know, that's what I that's what I would suggest. You know, just like those uh, sugar daddies promise you, oh, I'm, I'm gonna take care of you. I'm gonna pay your bills. You know, just just let me know uh, next week and I'm gonna take care of you. you they dangle in their wallet. You can dangle your carrot. Dangle it and snatch it back, just like they do. I, I keep getting all these questions and emails and stuff. Well, he said he was going to pay my bills and he hasn't called me and he's not, you know, he's not responding anymore. And 
You know, it's, it's the date that he said, and he's not trying to help me. And uh, of course not. He got what he wanted. You didn't get what you want. You know, so. Um, what should I do if men aren't approaching you? Or what should you do if men aren't approaching you? Quality versus quantity, okay? Men of means don't approach women like Dusty's do. They observe you first. They make sure you're appropriate. They watch you from a distance and they make sure you are for them. Dusty's will walk up to anything with a pulse, okay? They're not very picky. So quality versus quantity. Mm -hmm. The confidence of a Grace Jones housed in the body of a Jessica Simpson. <laughs> Open, what? It's funny, as last year I dated a 21-year-old while I was 22. He only used me. Of course, duh, what are you going to do with you? He too young. That's all they know how to do at that age. I'm approached by men I don't want. How do I get the ones I want? Um, don't hang out in areas where the ones you don't want hang out and only hang out in the areas where the ones you do want hang out. If you're being super extra picky over looks, then maybe you need to look at their, um, you know, see how much money they have or see, you know, what they do for a living and things like that. Thank you, Classy86. How to test an old man who messaged me on Facebook and he wants to be my sugar daddy. Girl. Ask him what an SD is. Say, say, a sugar daddy? Wow, you must be rich. Play stupid and dumb, baby. Get that cash app working. Get that Amazon wish list of working. I don't believe you. You're messing with me. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is so funny. Okay, well, if you really have money, I'm going to send you my Amazon wish list. And you can send me something on there. And then I'll know you're not playing with me. Go ahead and get that Amazon wish list and block that address. And only the driver know where to deliver it. And he can't see it. Get your Amazon wish list together. Get your cash app together. Play stupid and dumb. Laugh, send little voice messages. You know, how you can send little voice things like, and giggle. <laughs> You're so silly. <laughs> I like you though. You're funny. Girl, make them feel good about itself. So go ahead and send them over that cash app. Well, if you want to be my sugar daddy, um, I have, you know, I'll send like I'll send you over my PayPal. You can you can sprinkle me with some sugar. And test them out. That's how you do it. <laughs> um, what should I do if the guy I want acknowledges me when we encounter? You see, I never really had that problem because I just went and got it. Drop something. <laughs> It's too easy. What y'all doing? Who taught y'all? If I see something I want, I'm going to get it. Point blank, period. Ooh, that's a cute man over there. When I was young, ooh, that's a cute man. I just walk right on over, drop some. Oops. <laughs> Bump into him. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, my God. Did I get you? <laughs> I'm so clumsy. Oh, I'll go, I'll go get it. Drop some. Ask a dumb question. Do you know where the restroom is? Play stupid and dumb. Then walk away like you weren't really interested in him on your way back. Did you find it? You know, of course I did. Silly. What you drinking? Oh, I can't drink anymore. I can't. <laughs> Maybe just one more. I don't drink anymore, but you know, y'all do so. Give me all some scenarios. 
Y'all too scary. Y'all are the prize. Y'all act like y'all not the prize. Y'all are the prize. Okay? Act like it. Mm -hmm. Your old man voice is on point. <laughs> the the bend and slap, the bend and snap. Mm -hmm. Just, I don't suggest the bend and snap. I just drop something. He should bend over to pick it up for you. And then you thank him profusely. He's a gentleman. He'll pick it up. You already got him bending down for you, girl. You got psychology. Oh, my gosh. You're a real gentleman. Very rare these days. Thank you so much. Mm-hmm. <laughs> There you go. What to say when he asks what I like to do for fun besides hobbies? <laughs> you know, I'm a girl. I like you know what girls like to do. We love shopping, going to the spa. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I love going to name some expensive stuff. I love sailing. Name some expensive stuff, you know. I love going out to the marina. <laughs> then throw something in there to make yourself sound interesting. Oh my God, I love stargazing. I'm so interested in in uh, astronomy. I also love and come back with something stupid. I also love, you know, this and that. I love to travel, right? What should I do if a guy tells me he is dating other women? I say, oh, that's fine. Don't don't even act like you're offended. I say, oh, that's fine. Because if you say, if you all, if you kind of look relieved and say, oh, that's fine, he knows you date another man or he thinks you're dating other men. So he's gonna be like, so are you dating other men? Always say no. Because he's he's gonna expect you to say yes. Since he said he's dating other women, but your game got to be better than his. Oh, no, I'm not dating anybody right now. Um, first of all, you know, you lie. Second of all, you're not jealous and concerned that he's dating other women. His value did not go up because that's what he was trying to do, make his value go up. You remain the prize no matter what. Um, you're not... You're not dating anybody else because he knows you really are. You're never going to admit to it, and you're not offended that he is because you know you're depressed. Let him go on ahead, take them scallywags out, and roll them around the town. When he's ready for the real one, he knows where to find you. And now that he's told you that he's dating other women, he got to try even harder to convince you to give him anything. He's going to have to pay more. Do more because you are not affected by any of that. Okay. So now he just shot himself in the foot and now he got to climb back out by spending extra on you. And then, you know, if, if he's being a little cheap, it's like, oh, you know, all that daddy must be wearing your pockets down. You might have to let one of us go. Oops. Always reverse that stuff, baby. Reverse it. <laughs> then you can start joking. You can start joking about it because now it's it's something silly because you're not you're not upset. So now you can joke about it. Like, oh, maybe you need to take the next one to Applebee's. <laughs> I had to have a two for twenty. 
verbatim. Um, I like you. I like you. You're funny. Well, I'm not. I'm not really dating those other girls anymore. You know, they were, you know, flaky or whatever. Oh, so it's just me now. Oh wow. So maybe you could spend all the money that you're spending on. See, you could be funny now because y'all are talking about it. Maybe you could spend all that money on me now instead of breaking it up. Maybe you can take me on a real date. <laughs> to a five star, okay? <laughs> to a nicer restaurant. <laughs> Girl, reverse it. Um, do men hate sarcasm? Not if it's done in a humor way, like I do it. That's why you have to control your emotions, because once you are able to control your emotions, you can laugh at stuff that's not supposed to be funny. You can joke around about stuff that's not supposed to be funny because you are in control of your emotions. Okay. What do you do if men act like the prize? Go for older men that know he ain't the prize and you the prize. Right? <laughs> Sure, I had a dust. He tried to take me walking around the park at a first date. I was speechless. I hope you didn't go. <laughs> mm -hmm. Sure, you changed my entire life within six months. I got my body redone, the knees, wardrobe, mentally leveled up, and scored an entire provider man who makes seven figures a year. Oh, I love you. Girl, go ahead, girl. Hair life. Get your, get your bag, girl. And some. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Wow, six months you did that, girl. Good job. Y'all, shoot. That's a, re that's a record. I destroy, destroy his ego, then get someone better. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What to say if he asks why you're single? Um, this is where the ex-movie star or ex- Ball player or ex celebrity comes in handy. You finna up your value, and he, he didn't try to bring it down low. You finna bring yourself 20 notches brought right on back up. Okay, this is when that celebrity come in handy. Oh, you know, I, I was dating a little while, you know, I dated an athlete, and you know, athletes. So, you know, that didn't really work out. But, you know, he was he was very interesting, very tall. And I, you got him. He tried to bring you down. You brought yourself even higher. Flip it and reverse it. Don't let him bring you down. Why are you single? What's, basically, what he says, what's wrong with you? Ain't nothing wrong with me. I can pull the athlete. What you can do? You got athlete money? You got that athlete money? You already know I like the finer things. I dated an athlete. You know, I already got some good gifts and stuff. Went to some good places. What you going to do? Bring it right on back up. Okay. It, you don't even have to say an athlete. You could say something else that makes a lot of money. Well, I was recently dating a surgeon and, you know, a little bit too hectic for me. They're always on call. It's just, you know, we didn't. We didn't have a lot of time to spend together, so, you know. Up yourself. Mm -hmm. Gotta have that story pre-written. Put the thing down, flip it, and reverse it. Mm -hmm. You see. I noticed that teachers are pick me Bob the Builder chicks. I've had teachers who worked until they were nine months pregnant and came back to work a month later. Wow. Lena Kumar. Yeah, I don't know. Um, what should I do if it takes a week to text me? Girl. You think I'm going to wait a week for some a text? Girl, you might as well mail a letter. He'll get it faster. 
Go check your mailbox. <laughs> no. Amazon Prime is faster than that. Come on now. My boyfriend mistreated me. We refuse to see each other and I can't come over. Should I let karma do its thing? What do I do? Girl, why are you worrying about? Yo, my boyfriend mother. Okay, let me read this right. My boyfriend's mother mistreated me. We refuse to see each other and I can't come over. Should I let karma do its thing? What do I do? So yo, does he live with his mother? Like, do he live with his mama? Winifred, how to bring up a conversation about your allowance and set it up so that it's automated? Do I want to use PayPal? I don't want to use PayPal. Well, tell him how uncomfortable you are about talking about money and it would just be so much easier if it was just a direct deposit and it would seem more like, you know, a relationship without having to always argue or talk about money all the time. It's the number one thing that kills relationships. So if you just put me a direct deposit, we never really have to discuss anything. I'm taken care of, you know, everybody's happy, da 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 da, da you know. That's if you're comfortable enough, you know, been dating a little while. Um, girl, I don't deal with people, mama. I don't know, like, I'm the type of person that if you, if we have an argument or you make me mad or bad, you know, things were exchanged, the next time I talk to you, it's like it never happened. I live in the mall. I, I mean, I'm not worried about what you said yesterday. Look, y'all see how I do my trolls? They come, it's a new day. That's the same way I treat people, look. So I don't know. I don't I don't hold grudges on people. I don't uh, waste my time being angry at people. I don't worry about what they think about me. I'm going to come just smiling at them just like I did the day before. I'm not going to fall for the okie doke. I ain't going to trust them, but I ain't going to be treating them crazy. Thank you, Hair Life. Ladies, you really have to listen to what she says and listen to her constantly. It helps consistently. Okay. I was a straight pick-me chick term my entire life. Around in six months, she would never stop being. Oh, thank you, girl. Sprinkle, sprinkle hairline. Yeah. Sprinkle me, girl. Thank you, girl. She uh she she got that bad, didn't she? Um, I know all about the direct money deposit. Good for you, girl. Um The longer you hold a grudge against other people, they know that they triggered you, you know? So let that go between his mom. Act like it never happened. Mm -hmm. Be the bigger person, apologize, act. You know what, I'm so sorry what happened. You know what, it was me, it was my fault. Be the bigger person, you don't really mean it. Are you getting what you want? Are you getting those benefits? Who cares? You know, it's, you know, it's a lie. You know how you really feel. Who cares? Be the bigger person. Ooh, I'm so sorry. It was, you know, it was my fault. Da, 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 da. Will you forgive me? Girl, could you act on? Mm -mm. Let's move past this. Let's do something else. What you got? You know, I'm back in. I'm in it to win it. You ain't getting me. Okay. Shoot. What? Some about a therapist. He more my therapist than my boyfriend. <laughs> she, my boyfriend is 26, I'm 21, lives at home with his mom. He spoils me, but not enough. We've been together for years. And I love him, but I can't. How do I break the news? I feel guilty for taking to my sugar dad. Girl, your boyfriend is a boy. that lives at home with his mama. Okay. He's already defeated, baby. You, There's nothing you can say to him. 
He's already defeated. Okay? He can't think no lower. <laughs> He's living on his model. Um, okay? He's almost 30, and he lives at home with mother. You feel guilty for talking to sugar daddies. He should feel guilty for staying at home with his mom until he's 26 and can't take care of himself. He should feel guilty that he can't properly court and date you as a grown man. Okay. Why do you feel guilt? You feel guilt for accepting less than you deserve? That's dumb. I would never feel guilt. You know what? If you want, if you want me to take you seriously, take yourself seriously. Okay. Yeah, I come cuddle with you and watch Netflix and chill, but tomorrow I, I'm going out with my sugar daddy and get my money. How you doing? He ain't got to know, but you don't have to feel guilty about it either. <laughs> right? Tonight is your night. Tomorrow is night. When you can afford every night to be your night, when you have your own apartment, let me know. <laughs> Don't feel guilty. He need to feel guilty for, spun for sponging off his mama and not giving you the life you deserve, okay? What about a manipulative, narcissistic boyfriend's mother? Girl, you gotta you gotta play you gotta play the game with the mamas. You got to agree with everything they say. They can't manipulate you if you agree with everything. Agree with it, flip it, and reverse it. Okay. You're so right. You know what? I'm going to really look into that. Thank you so much. Next. Well, what are you thinking about doing for a career? Like, what are you doing for a career? Oh, you know what? Right now, I'm considering, you know, um, name something, but I'm not really sure. What do you think? Girl, flip it. Well, I don't think he needs to be involved with someone at this age right now. He needs to focus on his study. I know I tell him that all the time. Focus on your studies, you know. I tell him that all the time. That's why he likes me because he says I remind you. He reminds me of you. I remind him of you. He says, I remind him of you. Check me. Got him. That's all you got to do. How do I let a guy know I want him to be my side dude? Don't. Don't ever let a guy know you want him to be your side dude. Because you, you ain't going to get no money from no side dude. Side dudes are... They don't they don't get money. He number one in, in, in his mind, he number one. He gotta come up with that money. He your number he your number one. You busy. Um, how do I deal with people telling me my husband is too old to be a father at 68? Um, <laughs> say, well, he ain't too old. He ain't, he ain't too old and impregnating. So he, he, I guess he ain't too old to be no daddy at 68. Shoot. <laughs> he got insurance. Look, you got social security. You'll be fine. You got a scooter. You can roll around. Um, <laughs> How do I get money from a man that is trying to teach me how to make more money? Girl, y'all already messed up right there. Never, ever, ever, ever allow a man to teach you how to make money. Okay? Mm -mm. 
If they want to teach you how to ha make money, ask for an initial investment. Well, I don't have any money to invest or I don't have any money to start off with. Get that money. Use it. Okay. Most men that try to teach women how to earn money are scamming them anyway. And you just don't know it yet. You don't realize it yet. But they're scamming you, actually. Because why would a man want to teach you how to make money when that's what he needs to impress you? He's trying to get them that credit score, them social security numbers, for you to take out loans, to invest with him, to help him make money. You just a pawn, okay? Men don't care about you making money. They're trying to impress you, okay? Look, the only thing I'm interested in is you handed me the money. That's how I want to make money. Mm -hmm. Don't be Fantasia, right? Real money got money. I'm in college. I like a guy, but he's a nerd. What should I do? Girl, get that nerd. He's going to make money when he get up out of that college. Girl, hang on to that. Hang on to that nerd. He's going to make money. Girl, go secure that nerd. Secure that nerd's back. Come on now. It's easy to, to secure a nerd bag. I don't have to be nice. I'm stating facts. My guy is a nerd. He is. <laughs> you don't have much in common? Good. Less, less time talking. More time spending. When you don't have a lot in common with somebody, they got to spend more money. You guys going to be sitting there like this. So you want to go? You, you want to go uh, to Hawaii? Oh yes, I love Hawaii. Dirt. You're just sitting around like this, looking. Oh, so you want to go to um, the mall? When's the last time you've been out? When's the last time you went to the spa? Oh, I love the spa. You know. I'm going to Comic-Con. What are you going to do? Oh, you know, I'll just go stay at the hotel and get spa treatments while you're at Comic-Con. <laughs> uh. The real nurse don't know about any of the pampering stuff. Yeah. And not until you tell them that's what you enjoy and you sitting up there in awkward silence being bored, they're going to try to Make sure you're happy. Mm -hmm. That's so funny. I went after nerd in junior high as my first boyfriend. Wish I'd gone after those nerds after my divorce. Mm -hmm. What if a guy DM you on IG, they offer to pay bills but want to meet you? Send them that cash out first. Well, I don't know how serious you are. So here's my cash out. I'll let you know. Girl, you hold all the, you hold everything. Send me your cash. If they, if they, if they send you a, a good amount, you gonna need them. Okay, because you know there's more where that came from. Oh yeah, send me your cash out. Or your PayPal. If you make it worth your while, you know you're gonna meet him because you think he's gonna give you more money. Okay. If it's not enough money, keep the money and keep it moving, don't we? Right. I think it's why are celebrities pick Misha's? Because they make too much money. They make too much money. They have to find someone richer than them with less options, and that's very hard. If Fantasia divorces old dude, she won't pay him out. Oh, no. 
Oh, yeah, I'm getting ready to get off. So you say like, that. Oh, let me see. It matches your phone case. Oh, look at her phone case. It matches her nail. Y'all, Sasha want her model back, so I'm going to go. But sprinkle, sprinkle, y'all. Yeah, when you make too much money, it's hard to find somebody and not be a pick Nisha. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I'll see y'all later. Sasha want her mama. Ariana. Ariana Grande is one, two. They said Ariana Grande is a pick Nisha. I don't know about her. How is she pick Nisha? I have no idea. I don't know. Who's she dating? All I know, she's really successful. Mm-hmm. See, if celebrities were smart, they would aim for the billionaire. Get that money. Like Janet Jackson. Bam. Took her a while to get it. She had to go through some pick days and some dusty days. But she got it right at the end. Rihanna got it right. <laughs> okay. Y'all say goodnight. I gotta go. Bye. <laughs> this is